Hey there, welcome back to the big board. So we've got some uh, nice little counters here from Honor and Patrie, which I believe means Honor and Fatherland uh, in, in French. And this is just a little uh, play test scenario that uh, I, I've been given to have a look at and try and make some, some pictures of. And I thought before I got too much further into it, I would explain what's going on here. So uh, we've got a couple of things happening. We have uh, basically a, a advanced recon unit that came up uh, this road here. Okay. And we have a very thin force of French military chaps who are going to, whoops, I didn't clip the board down, who are going to do their best to delay and hold uh, the Soviets and their advance. And this is the hex we care about. We don't want uh, any French units, the Soviets don't want any French units within four hexes of that uh, location. And uh, being kind of uh, playing this solo, so we're using uh, kind of the Soviet doctrine for movement. So we're, we're I guess, from the old NATO division commander days, we would call it administrative mode, and we would we're moving down the road. Once we get within range of something that looks kind of uh, suspicious or nasty, then we're going to bust out and uh, and move into uh, some sort of attack formation. And the first thing we did, uh, which was probably a little aggressive, was move up close to so we didn't have to go through the spotting exercise. Move up close here and uh, fired with the tank, the T-72, uh, at these units here. Now one of the, they're in a foxhole in the woods. One of the benefits of this system is when you roll a one on your saves uh, against the direct fire table, <coughs> and you roll against your melee number, if you roll a one, that gives you a chance to create a hero, and that's what we've done here. So uh, fortunately, uh, these chaps here survived uh, several rounds of fire. So uh, the main gun fired, uh, they survived their morale rolls, and then the machine gun uh, fired. In fact, both machine guns fired uh, to no effect whatsoever. Uh, it enormously poor rolling on my part as a Soviet player. So now we've got these guys here with a hero, it's their activation, and they are going to uh, attempt to close assault the tank. That sounds exciting to me, so we're going to do that fun thing. Uh, the rest of the uh, units here have uh, moved, but all can fire. I had a little uh, confusion here, I overstacked in this hex, because uh, I do want to be able to pass through here. And so, uh, you, if I have two units here, I can't really bring another one through. At least that's how I read the rule. But then again, I could be confusing it with rule of war. Who knows? Regardless, the thing I do want to highlight to you is, you know, the French units, even for playtest counters, which have been printed out and glued together, they look really nice. The graphic quality is the typical high uh, lock and load standard. The images on these, uh, you know, they've got some movement and action in them, so I really like them. They look, they look pretty neat, and they have a very different uniform look and feel. Here, are these guys here, these are the elite forces. Uh, they have a, a red box around their movement, which means they can use assault movement, and you can see they have different weapons. And if I had uh, a listing of the weapon types for the French army in front of me, I'd tell you what they were. What they were. You can see here, uh, let me bring it over, it's one of the French light machine guns. So let's uh, stop with the, dri the drivel and we will uh, conduct this melee and carry on and I'll pop back in a little bit and we'll see what's going on. <laughs> 